How's it going guys? We're stopping out at our earliest cornfield. Just wanted to see how it's progressing. Usually harvesting around late August, early September, so that's not too far away anymore. It's starting to dent. This is corn grown for silage. We're shooting for a whole plant digestibility. The ears aren't as nice on this stuff, but this is looking good for this type of corn. Yeah, usually we'll start to see some disease on these leaves. But uh, yeah, that fungicide's holding that back pretty good this year, it seems like. We're gonna hook the cattle trailer up now. We got some heifers to move. Oh. We're gonna head into the office to get the numbers we need to move. So we're gonna take some from the heifer barn to the other farm, and then bring some from the other farm back. We just have six animals we're gonna take out of this pen. Yeah, these two. It's amazing being able to do this job in my sneakers. This used to be a sloppy mess in our old heifer barn. Hey girls. There's five here that are doing a little over a month. We gotta get them home. We put those five heifers in our dry cow barn. And that will chase us up the pre-fresh pen once they're closer to calving. We have some space in our heifer barn now for young calves. We don't have a group ready to move out though. We'll probably move these out next week. So we like to give a vaccine a week ahead of time just to help them for that transition. We're currently using this uh, Pyramid 5 pre-spons vaccine. We've tried some different ones. We used to do a nasal vaccine. We think this one helps more than the nasal that we used to use. This barn's getting messy. We need to bed this up and then we'll give these vaccines. I also had to grab myself a Clover Farms chocolate milk. Putting two cc's under the skin. We're starting to think about filling bunker silos now. So we want to get them cleaned up. My dad's going to start pushing tires. We want to fill the center one first. We have all those tires laying on the side there. I'm going to push them over here. I'm actually going to go in the truck right now. We're going to pick up the plastic covers. We want to have those on hand so we're ready to go for harvest. So I like to check the tailpipe for debris before we take off. Oh, look at that. Better clean that out. I went and picked up all the plastic we're gonna need for three bunkers. Got it from a different company, a local guy that sells it this year. Should get just as good a results out of it, I think. I'll have to get dad to help me get those rolls of plastic off then. Kinda heavy, but we'll have to somehow work them off the back. So one thing I wanted to do is our New Holland skid steer, I noticed the tires should be rotated. Since we have the big bucket on here most of the time, the back tires wear a lot quicker than the front because It'll kind of slide the back end. This will kind of stay in place as it turns. We actually have a decent bit of difference in the wear. So I just want to put the back tires on the front. Well, I got the small bucket on. We'll put some wood blocks under the back and then we should be able to lift all the tires at once.
These tires should have quite a bit of life left on them. These don't wear out near as quick as the feeding skid loader tires because we're running them in ore. There's not as much friction. You're not leaving as much rubber there on the concrete every day. Plus, we just don't put as many hours on the skid loader. These tires have been on for well over five years. It's a long time since we put new tires on this one. So I'll get rid of this bucket and then I want to grease it and clean out the air filter. I should be cleaning this air filter out more often, just blowing air through it. Got it hooked back up, ready for bedding tomorrow morning. And it's a hot one today. In the 90s with high humidity. Dad's bringing the skid loader with the forks over. We're gonna get all this plastic off the pickup. A couple videos ago I mentioned that we're going to be expanding our pre-fresh to special needs pen, adding 32 feet onto this building. So we're going to start getting ready for that project. We're going to do the excavating ourselves and try to help as much as we can. It's really not going to be a lot of excavating, just have to add some fill in this area. We want to start taking the end of this barn apart. We've got these big roll doors, figure we'll take them off first. Should slide right off the end if we get rid of those stoppers there. Now we should be able to just slide the doors off the end of the track. We have to be careful not to break them, get them out past, and then you can lay them down and move them. It'd be nice to not have to build new doors. Just reuse these on the end of the new barn. We got the first door rolled off the track. Now we're trying to figure out how to lay it down. What we're gonna do is cut a couple slots in these 15 gallon drums, slide them on the end of the forks and then they won't be as sharp and that way it won't damage the door. Hoping we can just lay it down then with the skid loader. That wasn't bad at all. I was a little worried about how we were gonna do that. The other door there is a little bit bigger, but I don't think we'll have too much trouble. We borrowed these fork extensions from the neighbor for this bigger door.
So that didn't go too bad. We set the doors over there in the bunker silo. The plan is to have this project wrapped up before we harvest corn silage. I guess uh, things don't go as planned. We'll have to move them again. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Next week we're going to start getting serious. Tearing the metal off this end and breaking up this concrete. Tear these posts out. Stuff we're going to do and then the builders should come later in the week next week to set new posts. And then we got concrete to pour and stuff, but it shouldn't take too long for them to do their job. I am going to go get a drink and try to cool down a little bit. I did want to say merch is available. Wearing one of the new shirts right now. If, uh, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Thanks a lot, guys.